I'm Alexander Mauskopf, director of the New York Headache Center. What happens to a brain during a migraine is a complex sequence of events. Um, there's activation of what we call migraine center, um, which is located in the brainstem. And that's the earliest we can pick up on very sophisticated tests like uh, PET scan and MRI scans where we can see a certain part of the brain lights up first and then sends messages to the other parts of the brain and there's a cascade of uh, neurochemical events. There is release of neurotransmitters and cells talk to each other and something leads to this very unpleasant experience of uh, throbbing pain, nausea, sensitivity to light and noise. It's a very complex event but we understand more and more um, every year as to exactly what happens and maybe we can figure out where to stop this process, that is, maybe we can interrupt these chemical cascade of events at one place or another, and we have some drugs that are already doing that, but there is a lot more to be learned, and hopefully we'll get much better treatments based on this understanding.